Potatoes, possibly the most versatile food on the planet. French fries, mashed potatoes, hash browns, and today, stamps. Truly the gods of our realm. I wasn't really sure what I was going to carve into the potatoes to make the stamps. I was thinking maybe like artistic titties, like in a cool, cool artsy, um, lesbian kind of way, and like a, like a, like a, like like a girl boss, <laughs> which I am not, or like um, a potato, carve a potato into a potato. God, that's, that's a great idea. Why didn't I do that? I got four items, including two button ups, lab coat suit jacket as well as this like sweater thing uh, hair whatever you, you know what a sweater looks like and then i also got this fabric medium of which i can very simply mix with any acrylic paint of my choosing so for the silky brown shirt i want to do a beetle print for the white button up and the suit jacket i want to do butterflies uh, and i'm not sure what i want to do for the sweater just yet but i'll figure it out Let's carve some potatoes, I guess. I did a few basic doodles, nothing crazy, just something to go off of while I carved the shit out of these potatoes. First, I'm gonna cut them in half, because that makes sense to me, and then just kind of go for it, I guess. Make your bets now as to how long it'll take before I accidentally cut myself, because I most definitely will. Bug. It's a little goofy, but I love goofy, so I'm kind of okay with it. I think I'm gonna cut this kind of diagonally to make it longer because uh, I'd really like to waste as few of these as possible because they're gonna be covered in paint and I'm not gonna be able to eat them. I'm also gonna make a couple of these in different parts, I think, and then just kind of stamp them next to each other, if that makes sense. A potato flew around my room before you came. Potato head wings. I have fabric medium, acrylic paint, combine them onto the thing. I also have paper towels here to kind of dab excess off. Don't look at my laundry, it doesn't exist. I need to wash this brush actually. No, I'll just grab another one, fuck it. Oh, my hands are already covered in paint, what the fuck. I need more paper towels. This is so sick. <laughs> Covered in paint. Um, these potatoes are getting too slippery for me to function. Oh, I got more paint in my hair. Fuck. I'm throwing potatoes. Need to wash my hands. This is getting out of hand. That looks cool though. I like it. How am I gonna turn off my camera? Literally every... I'm gonna use my tongue. Hold on. Somehow I got paint on my ass. I don't know how this happened. Update on day two. I finished with the butterfly stamps, so I threw those out. But the beetle ones I put in the fridge overnight because I was like, well, I don't, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. And they're doing better even, I'd say, than they were yesterday. They're a little squishier, but I'd say the shapes of each beetle is, generally speaking, stamping better, if anything, than it did yesterday. So, highly recommend put your potato stamps in the fridge. And now I have to leave them in my room to dry over overnight. I didn't really think this one through. These took up a lot of room um, and I may have stepped in paint at some point. Dry faster. For the white button up, I ended up going with black stamps, which kind of came off more gray after being washed. Speaking of which, I feel like the patterns came out a lot cleaner after the first wash. There was a lot of muddy extra stuff before that. And then I went with a darker brown for the brown button up, uh, that same brown for the brown sweater. And then I stuck with black actually for the blazer, which made it very, very subtle. And I feel like I probably could have gone lighter almost or with a more contrasting choice, but I kind of like the subtleness. I'm scared to wash 
wash it though because it, it's, it's a suit jacket and you're not really supposed to wash those in the washer so i do like how the button up and the blazer go together though the best part of this project is that now that i know that it works i can do it with a bunch of different designs i was thinking strawberries and like some plants maybe or maybe skulls for halloween halloweeny time <laughs> weenie or i could circle back to the tits idea because that was a winner did you ever eat mud as a kid i didn't i i, I don't know why you'd think that uh, i was asking um because i had friends who ate mud as a kid i didn't i didn't eat mud i didn't eat mud as a kid I didn't, I didn't, I didn't eat mud. I didn't, I swear I didn't eat mud. Anyways, I did do mud spas. The thing where you cover your legs and arms in mud, and then you let it dry and it crumples off in a super satisfying way, and then you eat it like popcorn. This reminds me of that, because I was covered in paint the entire time. Once I started stamping, I enjoyed it tremendously. It felt like a elementary school art project, if I'm being completely honest, and I fucking love that shit. And honestly, I would absolutely do this again. My final thoughts are good. Came out good. <laughs> Immediately almost falls. Jesus. I have the dexterity of a baby giraffe. <laughs> So I was gonna film a bunch today, but I had to fix a couple of things in some of the projects and I've been waiting for the fabric glue to dry on this one thing for ages and I got dressed and stuff, uh, mostly-ish, in preparation for when it was eventually dry. But it's taking too long and I want to eat Takis, so... Yeah, I've had a very productive day today. If my hair looks worse tomorrow, shh, don't, it doesn't. <laughs> I think the brown button up is probably my favorite and I have already worn it and will probably wear it quite a bit. It is spicy and I like, I like silky button ups with patterns like that. They're my favorite. Yeah, if you want more of this, let me know, I guess. Because I will absolutely do this again. Thank you so much for watching. Here's another video. Subscribe. Bye.